Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about Space Command in Huntsville, Alabama. I'm sorry, Space Command in somewhere in Colorado. It's official. It's not moving. It has come down. Space Command will stay in Colorado. Huntsville will lose out on billions in economic activity because of that. Um, we have been talking about the fact that this was going to happen on this channel for more than a year. The Air Force sent out a memo. And in that video, I was like, this is it. This is the warning shot. You're not going to get another one. In that memo, they said that they were willing to transfer troops out of Texas. I think is really, really where it was directed at the time. Um, because of some of the legislation that was being passed there. Um, they offered legal help and all of that stuff. But if need be, they would transfer people. The second they start having to transfer people to deal with local laws that are designed to curtail the rights of their troops, well, it's a readiness issue. And that's what happens. If they can't send the troops there without their, their rights being curtailed, well, they can't send the troops there. It creates a readiness issue. If troops go there and their rights are restricted, it, it makes it harder to recruit. It's a readiness issue. The needs of the Air Force come first. Not your state politician's agenda. The military is apolitical. They're not going to come out and say that. But if you look at all of the statements that have come out about it, readiness and readiness to personnel are in it. If you restrict reproductive rights, if you restrict the rights of the LGBTQ community, you are restricting the rights of troops that will be stationed at bases in your state. It creates a readiness issue. Those bases will not be expanded. If you are in a state and you're looking at Huntsville and you're saying, man, I'm glad that didn't happen to us at our state, in our state at this base, you're next. The military is not going to suffer a readiness issue so your local politician can have a talking point. Bases that are in locations that restrict the rights of troops, they're not going to be expanded. And eventually, they'll be closed. If your economic livelihood depends on a nearby military base, you better become an ally real quick because you're next. They'll never say it because the military is an apolitical organization. Yeah, Tuberville's hold on promotions, I'm sure that didn't help. But that's not the whole reason. That's not the real reason. That's just something that made it even worse. Again, holding up promotions, it harms readiness. All of these political stunts that a lot of far-right politicians are engaging in, they're harming military readiness, which is one of the most important things. It will cause bases in those states to not be expanded or to be closed. And to be clear, we talked about this, we said this was going to happen more than a year ago. If your local politician didn't see this coming, they probably shouldn't be your representative. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.